This tutorial will show you how to model your building for Gmodeler. Your model will be made up of single surfaces with openings drawn on the face of the model as shown in this simple building model. If you are new to Google SketchUp, we strongly advise you to work through Google's own SketchUp tutorials prior to watching this tutorial. The first task is to generate the floor plans of your building. This can be done by the aid of importing a DWG or DXF file from AutoCAD Otherwise, you can simply draw floor plans within SketchUp using the SketchUp line tool. How we generate this simplified floor plan built up of single lines is that we use the internal line of external walls and the center line of all internal walls. This is to ensure that the overall floor area that we are modeling is correct in the building model. Prior to extruding my floor plans to generate the individual zones of the building, I will generate the building envelope. I will generate the internal zones and the envelope separately just now, but I will be merging everything later on. This is just a technique I use to model my building to ensure that I am always modeling the different zones of my building within the constraints of the building envelope. You may choose to adopt a different method. How I have modeled my building envelope is that if you imagine a section through your building, then I have used the inside line of the envelope floor, walls and roof as shown. This ensures that as well as maintaining the correct overall floor area of my building, I am also maintaining the overall volume of my building. I will now begin to model my internal zones by extruding the surfaces of my floor plans. The height at which I extrude these two is the floor to floor heights present in my building. When I click on a surface of my floor plan to extrude it, I press control on my keyboard which extrudes that surface as a separate entity to the rest of the floor plan. By doing this, the internal walls are generated automatically, as shown, eliminating the need to draw them manually using the line tool, thus saving a lot of time, particularly when modeling larger building models. For larger zones in your building that are full height, for example, you extrude the surface of the zone on the floor plan beyond the height of the building envelope. As the building envelope and zones are going to be joined and intersected, then the surfaces and lines that extrude beyond the envelope can just be deleted, as shown. Only external openings are required in your building model. Therefore, do not draw internal openings such as internal doors. Openings are drawn on your building using the line tool or any of the shape tools. The important thing when drawing openings on your building is to ensure that the opening is being drawn directly onto the face of your building model. Openings can be positioned accurately using the line tool as shown. I personally like to reverse the faces of the openings just to make them stand out from the rest of the model. Once you have added all the openings to your building, then the model is complete. 